Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to fix a certain issue with the ASIO for all audio driver. Uh, basically, this is a problem that occurs in Windows Vista or Windows 7. So I'm just going to demonstrate it here. Uh, when you open up whatever music software you want, and you open up the ASIO control panel, a lot of people will notice that their preferred sound device is unavailable. And ASIO will give you some message that says something called MSGS Wavetable Synth might be to blame. And that is actually a MIDI synthesizer. And so it's not exactly the same thing as what ASIO is, but there's some conflictions when they're both active at the same time. And unfortunately, in Windows Vista, Microsoft, in all their uh, wisdom, decided people didn't need to change the, the MIDI synthesizer, so they removed the ability to change it or turn it off. We can look at it. Here it is. That's the one it uses, but there's nothing we can do about that. So basically, if we can't fix this issue, ASIO for all can't be used in Windows Vista or Windows 7. So I'm going to show you a few ways that I've read about and I've kind of discovered on my own how to fix this. So the first thing you want to try, um, right click on your sound icon on your taskbar, press playback devices, and for everything in this list, or everything that's active, you want to go to its properties, go to the advanced tab, and make sure exclusive mode is turned off. This alone solves the issue for some people. It didn't work for me, but I was reading on a lot of forums and people were actually very pleased that once they turned this off, their ASIO driver worked with no problems. So definitely check that out. If it works for you, great. Uh, if not, on to step two. The next thing you want to try, um, you want to right click on computer and hit manage. You'll have to be the administrator for this to open. Um, we're going to expand services and applications. Click on services. Scroll down till you find Windows Audio. This service, when we stop it, will actually deactivate Windows ability to play sound. Thus turning off Wavetable. I'm not going to actually do it here because the microphone will turn off, but if you do that, you'll notice that Windows won't make any more noise, but ASIO will be active. So you'll, you'll press stop, you'll come back here, go to your ASIO control panel, you may have to click on this X just to reinitialize the, the control panel, but you'll notice it'll be available, and you'll actually be able to use it and enter notes and hear, hear what you want to hear. But there's two problems with this method. The first one is that it's inconvenient. You'll need to toggle the service on and off before and after using your software. And secondly, ASIO is specifically designed to be to have low latency. So it's basically only useful when you have some sort of MIDI input device, like a keyboard or something like that, where you want to press the note and you want to hear the note instantly and deactivating Windows Audio will kill any input device you're using, any MIDI input device. So for me, this wasn't a very good solution. So the last solution that I came up with um, is actually going to require that you have two sound cards. It's not that big of a problem. Most people have an extra PCI slot and a cheap sound card is only 10 bucks. Any sound card will do. But you go back to your playback devices and you'll notice I have two sound cards. This is the one I have active and this is my old onboard card that most computers have an onboard sound card. So this is the one that we're going to use to, I guess we're going to sidetrack um, Wavetable Synth. We're going to assign it to the old card while freeing up the new card for ASIO. So we're going to want to set the new, or the old device, I should say, as the default. But we can't do that because nothing's actually plugged into it. And 
to make it active, we just have to plug something into it. It doesn't really matter if it's hooked up to anything. Like, I use a little headphone connector. It can be absolutely anything. You just plug it in. We're going to try this right now. We're going to plug it in, and we will notice that the device becomes ready. So we can now right-click on that and set it as the default device. And something great happens here. When we click this, Wavetable is now assigned to this new device. So when we come back here and open the ASIO panel, we'll click this X just to reinitialize, and we will notice that we have our preferred sound device. It says the status is active. So that should have sound. Let's just try this out. Yep, it works. So it worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. If not, uh, post some comments and we'll try to figure this out for everybody because this is a pretty big issue. It's mostly Microsoft's fault. So I hope that works. Uh, yeah.